Okay, kiddos. So what we're going to do very quickly in these next couple of minutes is we're going to just watch a quick video on revising, revising our first draft. You've gone through the racer process. You have now taken what you wrote in racer, added some transition words. You've taken those ideas and you've written them in a first draft type of format with five paragraph spaces. You will then, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as you're finished with that first draft, you want to take a look at it. You want to read it to yourself. You want to say, hey, to, what do I like about this? What do I not like about this? And so revising simply just means looking at something from a big perspective and saying, ooh, this kind of looks right. Ooh, this kind of doesn't. Maybe I need this here and I need this here. So we're going to watch this quick video and try to become a little more familiar with revising. All righty. Really good writing happens in the revision stage. Revision is where it happens. When you revise, you look for ways to make your writing better and move it to the next level. The stuff of your paper needs to get better. Don't confuse revision with editing. Editing means to make your paper correct. It's the stage when you put in the right commas and make sure you've spelled everything correctly. But before you edit, you need to really look at revision. Revision is where you can make changes that help your writing go from good to really good. So how do you take a first draft and make it into a better second draft? Use the acronym RADAR to help you remember four key strategies. R stands for replace. You can take out weak verbs and replace them with stronger language. A stands for add. You may find that your first draft is underdeveloped and you need to add more stuff. D is the third strategy. D stands for delete. This means to take things out. Try not to fall in love with everything you write in the first draft. Sometimes the paper's better when you remove some of the writing. R stands for reorder. Your writing can be stronger if you experiment with the sequence of your paragraphs. Remember these four strategies to take your writing to the next level. Replacing, adding, deleting, and reordering. Alrighty, so that is a strategy that we want to try to use now. We used Racer and we, I apologize, you can't read the words I'm saying right now. We used Racer for restating, answering, citing, explaining, and relating to the question that, or prompt that we are given. Well, we finished racer. We are official racers now. We've written the whole thing down and we're rolling with our paper. So what we want to do now that we have a first draft is we want to revise that first draft. And to revise, we want to remember the little acronym. Well, if you're driving a race car or driving like you're driving a race car and you're going really fast, you're going to have a radar. Jeep, 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 jeep. Tell the cops you need to slow down. So a radar actually does help us slow down with our writing or it helps us stop and take a look at what we are doing and where we need to go from here. So replacing, adding, deleting, and reordering things that are currently in our rough draft. So ladies and gentlemen, um, we used racer. To write our first draft, it got us started with a writing response, and we're going to move now on to looking at we wrote for a first draft. And to do that, we're going to revise. We need a radar check. Don't crash. Follow the radar check to keep your writing on track. So what you're going to do now is you're going to stop, and you are going to go to the Ed puzzle to review and practice the radar strategy so that it's kind of in your head before we move forward with revising our first draft. 
Go ahead now and stop and go to your assignment from your teacher using Edpuzzle.